Good morning, friends. It's been a long time. Um, it's been two months, actually. I am so happy to have the camera in my hand. I have no clue what I'm gonna film today. I know there's so much to catch you up on and all the things, but um, we're just going to do a weekend vlog today and tomorrow, see what gets on Earth, and yeah. You're going to see as we wander around the house that things are decorated for Christmas. And the first thing you're going to say is, Christopher, it's way too early. And I agree, it is, but it's 2020 and no rules apply. And I believe if you need joy in your life, you make your own joy, and that brings me joy. The other really um, reason why is because I want to record a lot of Christmas decorating videos this year. And I know in order to do that and allow you time to plan, I need to get them to you in early November. So I'm getting them recorded now so I can get them edited and all of that. So that's why it's going to be early. And you're going to get sneak peeks around the house because I can't avoid it. Um, but stay tuned because when you see my tree, you're going to get a video that took three days. Um, to see exactly how I did it from setup to the ribbon to the ornaments to the finishing touches. Um, I broke it down into each component of how I even like set up my tree and get the lights on. Um, but I'm super, super excited. And yeah, I just got home. It's like 9.30. I just got home from a quick Target run and a Home Depot run because I have some projects in the works. Well, not like big projects, just little ones. There's also some house updates I got to share with you as we walk around the house. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. I did run to Target. I don't love buying groceries at Target, but I just needed a handful of things. We're having carne asada this evening, and I want to throw them in some tortillas with some lettuce, so, um, had to do that. Some of this new Studio McGee line launched. I didn't really want anything, because I honestly have a huge order from their real store coming. Um, don't tell Steven. But I got this lantern, this really cool piece that I'm going to just put away until Christmas is over. And then I did get this really beautiful leather bound tray that I might actually use as my tablescape on my coffee table. And I also picked up this candle holder and I'll show you, I can't believe I found this. It's actually perfect for what I need. And I'll show you the candle I got for that. I also think we're gonna talk about some advent calendars because October is the month to buy your advent calendars. I bought some rice. Steven has rice with almost every meal, so I got him a plethora of rice. And then I did pick up the trees from the dollar section. They always have these each year. So I grabbed a handful of them. And I might put them where I normally put them in my kitchen. I really love just like this green and gold combo. I'm digging it. They had like a bunch of colors this year. And then I'm dying to try these. That We're gonna try some buffalo chicken taco, well not chicken, um, some buffalo tacos for lunch today. Yes, I'm running this underwater only because there's glitter all over it. I didn't think that through very thoughtfully. That one isn't bad, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll dry those off quickly. So that's what I got. Oh, I also picked up some finishing touches for my Halloween bags for our neighborhood kiddos. I make them little bags with treats. I just need to pick up candy bars for them. I picked up some patch and paint because I need to patch some holes because I'm gonna move some art around. But that is what is happening. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away because we might actually do a home goods run at 10 when they just open. Just came downstairs. Hi, love bugs. Hi. Do you want to give them a health update? Yes, I had a health scare, but I'm doing better now. Yeah, he's, he's much better. He's better I'm, doing, I'm doing better now. He had a, a bacterial infection from a tick, so if you have a dog that wanders in the woods, make sure that they're protected. The thing is, he was protected. I know, but the vet said that they, to do the collar and the uh, pill. Yeah, so I'm doubling up. She has to double it up. Yes, we love you, and you're healthy, and you're taken care of, and you're old. We have noticed he's like tripping a lot more. His back legs are definitely like weakening a little bit. But um, for the most part, he's happy. He's comfortable. He's well fed. He's well loved. He's cuddled. All the thing. Yeah, life is good. Are you going for a walk? Yes. Are you going to go for a walk? I'm going to go to Home Goods. I'm going to walk there. Who, who do you want to go with? 
you want to go for a walk in the woods or for a walk in home goods? Home goods, I need some decor. What would he? What, what He's would redoing he... his bedroom. Uh, which is all the bedrooms. Exactly, I was gonna say, which one is that? All of them. Friends, I am back from home goods and Pottery Barn. I tried buying, I bought these ornaments and these napkins at Home Goods. I like the ornaments. I hate the napkins. So when I went to Pottery Barn, I went ahead and bought new red napkins. I just didn't love, I just didn't love the color of these. So, and the, like the quality is just meh. So I went and bought 10, um, no, not 10. I bought six new Pottery Barn napkins. They were $10 a piece, but you know, they need ironed and stuff. And then I knew I wanted chargers and I didn't want plastic chargers. So I found, they're so heavy. I don't even know if I can. I found these beautiful, they are heavy silver chargers um they are stunning they have like little they have little feet on them like they're just really really nice so we're gonna set those out and then we're gonna and uh, this needs some red and to be like jazzed up a bit so we're gonna work on doing just that so the table is done i think it looks so cute i love the polar bears the chargers and plates look so great i have the christmas ornaments on with bulbs but i'm actually gonna put them on with white sticky tack eventually i just ordered some on amazon but i just think it looks so pretty i'm obsessed with it and during Vlogmas, a tree is going to happen there, but it's part of our Vlogmas adventure. Right, for my lunch, I'm actually going to make um, some buffalo cauliflower. I might not act tacos. I didn't finish what I was saying. This week, I made some vegetarian enchiladas with just coleslaw mix. So I have that left over, and I'm gonna use that for in my tacos. And then I'm gonna drizzle it with this, one of my favorite avocado ranches. There's like no GMOs, it's a pretty clean. No sugar. So I'm just gonna add some of that ranch. I'm gonna mix this all together, and that will also go in with my tacos. Let's get this all mixed together. So I'm just heating up my tortillas. You can only do it on your stovetop because it's the only way you get some good flavor. Well, they're crispy. That is a good thing. All right, I'm just going to add some buffalo wing sauce to these. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decent amount of that slaw mix because I want to use it up. And then some of this cauliflower. <clears throat> okay. These look so good. So those are my tacos. I'll let you know how they are. Another thing I want to do today is rearrange the art. I have one new piece coming from the Studio McGee collection that I was able to capture, but I just want to take all of this down, patch it, repaint it, and figure out where I want pieces to go. Okay, right. so now the napkins are like perfectly folded, which makes me very happy. And um, I ended up just doing the two white plaid and then all the four center ones matching, and I think I want to get some gold-lipped wine glasses to have there, but I'm really happy with it. All right, so I am sitting in the dining room, um, just looking at it and enjoying it, and Steven is upstairs taking a nap, and then he has a uh, meeting at three o'clock, actually, today. 
but I thought I'd talk you through a little bit of my process. So this year's theme is going to be really traditional. You're gonna see nutcrackers, you're gonna see red, green, blue, gold, white, like very traditional like plaid colors that we see at Christmas. And um, I knew I was going to do something a little bit more traditional. Mm, after I set up last year and really liked having the red incorporated, so I knew that would happen. And then the way I start planning because I like to get things when they go on sale is I sit in all the spaces that I typically decorate in and I think to myself like what do I want here what will go with the vibe and I start getting like really particular um lists happening for the entry room, for the dining room for the uh kitchen uh living room etc and I start writing things down I even like sketch a couple things here and there to make sure I can have like a really clear idea of what I want and I start that planning and list making and then as things go on sale, as things come up throughout the year, I pick them up and then I save them. What I'm thinking of doing for the future now that I have a couple themes now saved up is I'm going to start offering like people to rent them for the year and also for like an additional fee, like I will come and do all the decorating for you. Um, and I just thought it'd be a way to like once again spark this passion of mine. So I now have like four years of themes, um, all saved, all organized, and I think I'm gonna do that next year. And I think it would be a lot of fun, plus people can change up their decor without breaking the bank and having to buy a bunch. And I would love to go into people's homes and decorate. So I think I might do that for fun next year. But this year's theme started to get planned last year. I actually already have next year's theme planned um, and I've started jotting it down but I haven't gone through. And yeah, you're gonna see lots of little pieces of decorating throughout the house. And then in November, you're going to see some videos on how I did some of these things. So I'm really, really excited. <clears throat> So let's take a little walk around. This is the dining room. I knew this year I wanted to have the table set. You guys have already seen me set this up today as I picked up some of the items. And I thought the polar bears was a really cool vibe. Um, and I loved it. No space is completely done yet. Just keep that in mind if some things look a little unfinished. This section of the garland, this is the flocked garland I used last year. I decided to use it again because it was just like a very nice high quality garland that I didn't want to waste. Um, and I added red and blue and gold picks and then some darker green pine into it um, to really balance it out. I do have to go in yet and you see some of these pick sticks out it's just because I haven't taken my florist wire so what will happen is I'm gonna take my florist wire and see how that will tighten up there it's hanging right now I just have it located in its space but I'll tighten that up with florist wire I might actually do that a little bit later today I've already done all the ones on top I just haven't done the side ones because I want to make sure I like the placement <clears throat> Then in the entryway, when I sketched this out, I knew I wanted a Santa Claus with either a navy or black background, and I knew it needed to be a really big scale, and I found this one with the gold, and it had a black background. It's exactly what I had envisioned, and thrilling. Um, I'm toying with what I wanna do inside the lanterns. I kind of like this greenery, so I might do one here, and then I do have a really big, beautiful garland coming for here that um, we'll be all judged and ready to go. Then when you come into a little bit further into the entryway, I'm still futzing with this one a little bit. I don't know exactly how I want it to turn out yet. I do really like the birch logs and the, the joy wreath. It just feels really traditional. There's red and green accented in there. For right now, I'm happy with it. I don't know if it's exactly where I want it to be though. Then you see the tree and the fireplace, but it's too dark and the white balance isn't adjusting. So we'll go over there in a little bit. The tree is super traditional. It has that like limey green 
on the tree, some darker green, some nutcracker ornaments, a tartan plaid ribbon, a navy blue velvet ribbon. It has twinkle lights on the inside, but also it has candlesticks on it. There are some red velvet picks in there. Um, I've filmed the making of this tree from like setting up and fluffing to installing lights. This is the prettiest tree I've ever done. Um, if you've watched my Vlogmas videos, you know I don't love a tree topper. I never think they like look perfect on the tree, so I never do a tree topper and I actually really love the top of this tree. You guys are gonna ask what tree this is. It is a 10 foot uh, balsam hill, I forget what it is exactly, but I will leave my exact tree linked below along with some of the things that I mentioned is like the nutcracker ornaments, the plaid ribbon, all of that is from Amazon. These uh, lights are from balsam hill as well, but it is a stunning, beautiful tree. I could not be happier with it. Console table's not done, coffee table is not done or styled. So those are still a work in progress. This is the fireplace this year. We recently redid the fireplace. We painted it all cracked pepper by um, Bayer and then had hexagon slate tile put in. And I just love how it has become a statement. I also painted all of the molding, all of the trim work around the fireplace, cracked pepper, and then this West Elm log holder that's gonna get birch logs in it. And then that lantern I picked up today, have to jazz it up and look, make it look a little bit more Christmassy. And then this is a garland that I've completely made myself. It's hung on um, uh, finishing nails that I tapped into the mantle. This is two six feet garland and I'll tell you how I did it, but we're going to build this garland in another space so there will be a video on it. So this is all from here. This is one piece of six foot the whole way across and it hangs a little bit on the side. Then what I did, oh, oh let me turn on the light so you guys can see. It gets so dark over on that side of the house. So let me turn on the light. Okay. So there's that single six foot piece running there. Then what I did is I took another six foot garland and I folded it, not exactly in half. I would say like I folded it up like three quarters and left a quarter of it hanging because what I did is I layered it on top of this and then let it fall back down to a single because you'll see that it's really thick right there and then tapers back down and I just wired it with florist wire. Then all of these long needles are picks and I put them lightly through here and then got really heavy to like give it a lot of shape. If you look on this side, it's actually really thick and like heavy on this side. And then I looped in all of these cypress pieces and um, these little berries and then I added all these other picks to it that also go with the picks in the tree and the picks that I put in the garland there, so it still all is really cohesive and connects to one another. And then I added these two nutcrackers, and then I found these amazing taper candles um, on Food 52, I'll leave them linked below. They look so real at night, and I'm really impressed with them. Very impressed. Maybe I'll show you later this evening if I remember. Then, Nothing is really done in the kitchen. I have my sketches in my list. I just haven't like dove into it yet. So I just have, if you remember, I found these at Vlogmas last year and I just love them so much. And this light catches them and makes them glitter. And then I put like an old red blanket in there. And then I'm just going to keep my lanterns the same. And then I added these reindeer here that I had from last year. And I just love like the black. They're very clean and simple but I really, I don't know what to do with that coffee table. I'm really stumped with what I wanna do. I haven't touched my cabinet here um, in this part of the kitchen, and I've not really done anything here. I know I wanna do something like pretty dramatic around this Merry Christmas. I just haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Well, I've decided, I just haven't gone and got it all. And then my boxwood wreath always goes there, and then I'll still have to do this section up here that section there and yeah I have a bunch of pieces coming from McGee and company so that will help finish this space off 
So in my mud room, I have things coming for on there, something for over the mirror. I had these pillows from last year and they really fit the vibe of this space with the dark. And then I have another wreath coming for in here as well. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's been a slow process, even though it's early, because I've been taking my time to film a lot of these components as I go. But yeah, so far I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm loving the vibe. This year I wanna make Vlogmas like super celebratory. So that's what we're going for. Also, while we're in the dining room, you guys have been asking about advent calendars. It's this time for advent calendars. I'm not gonna do as many this year just cause they're a pain to film and edit during Vlogmas, but I did splurge and I bought the White Company's advent calendar. It came, it will have a mix of body products and candles, super excited about it. I also bought this gratitude jar on Amazon and I'm really excited about this. Every day of Vlogmas, we're gonna have a moment of gratitude and we're gonna fill out a card, add it to this jar. Um, I'll leave everything that I talk about in this vlog linked below that I can find. And then another advent calendar I have is I got Bubba's The Woofers advent calendar. And I also picked up, this is my favorite place to find really cute like village nativity advent calendars. And I found the Wooden North Pole advent calendar. So we're going to do that one this year as well. Some advent calendars that I absolutely love and recommend um, would be the Rituals. I really love the Kiehl's. I did Lush and that one's always great because their products are so fun. Um, Rituals is really a good one though. I've really enjoyed it. Sugarfina is a tradition for us. I'll probably end up ordering that one just because it's a Vlogmas tradition if you've never been on Vlogmas. And um, the Diptyque one. I didn't do the Diptyque one this year only because it's the same every year, but this year's calendar is by far their most beautiful. But I just don't need any more candles because I have so many. So instead of Stephen buying me the Diptyque uh, advent calendar this year, he bought me a candle for my coffee table and he picked me up the really big matte black beige candle. I've clearly been burning it. And then I ended up getting some Christmas candles as well. I'll show you those. I should have just stayed in the dining room. Everything is in here. This year for Christmas candles, I bought the Big Nest Holiday Candle. It's back here in the back. And then I also bought the Next Size Down Birchwood Pine. That Birchwood Pine smells unbelievable. So we got our Vlogmas candles. Here is the fireplace was one of the big house updates. Here is the other big house update that I did. Um, I installed this myself. I picked this wallpaper up at, uh, I believe, Spoonflower. And it's cranes on like a gray background. It's so beautiful. And it's just the perfect pop on that little wall. We used to have a piece of art hanging on it, but I knew I wanted to make it more of a statement. And that is exactly what this wallpaper has done. And I'm really, really happy with the quality. I also love, if you're coming in the front, it's like one of the accents you see when you walk in and it just really connects the house and it adds like a little level of quirk that Steven and I like to have in our home. A, a bunch of you on Instagram stories last week mentioned like how much you like my haircut. You have two glasses of wine. This is, this is how you accomplish my haircut. You have two glasses of wine. You get your dog clippers on the two attachment. You get a comb or a brush. And you use <laughs> like paper scissors. That's how I've been cutting my hair since March. And it's looked really good. So I'm literally just gonna like zip around and do my best. I don't get fancy 
and that's literally how I'm gonna do my hair. Now that I've done the sides, I'm just gonna go and like brush all this so it's sticking up and I'm just gonna cut a little bit off and then that's how you do your hair. And it's really been working. <laughs> I went around my ears really quick and I'm gonna get ready to shave after my bath. And yeah, that's how I cut my hair. Two glasses of wine, dog clippers, paper scissors, and hope and a prayer. I wanted to show you how those candles from, uh, it's looking a lot more yellow in here. It's definitely more of like a warm candle light, but they look really, really good. Yeah, I don't know why the, the camera's showing them really yellow. I promise they're not that yellow. And then if you look at the one in the dining room, definitely higher quality, but uh, much more expensive. Is It's looking really yellow too. They don't look yellow in person. I promise you that. They don't at all look yellow. All right, friends, haircut, glasses on. I cut myself shaving, but I will see you all in the morning. And yeah, see you then. Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. Um, I'm just making breakfast, which isn't gonna be healthy, but it's Sunday, and breakfast should be a splurge. So I'm having two frozen waffles with some Trader Joe's pumpkin butter on them. That's what it's gonna be today. All right, we are back from grocery shopping. I got everything put away. Steven is still going to go and pick up a couple things. I made him like a little quick list of a couple things I need for the week that I wasn't able to get uh, while I was out. And I thought we would do a little adventure. It is 2020. And at one point I had like silvery gray hair and I really liked it. Um, so I picked up a box of soft silver blonde. Um, based off of the back, if you're a medium or dark blonde, I don't think I'm gonna see that much of a difference. But like, I don't even care. It's 2020 and I wanna see what happens. So, and if it turns out terrible, I can fix it, right? So the next time you see me, I hopefully have soft silver blonde hair. So, so I dyed it. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> I was really hoping it would look different. I do think it looks like slightly yes, less like yellow e orange, but I don't think there's any difference. Which is probably a good thing that it didn't like turn some crazy color. It's been such a lazy like afternoon day. It's like three o'clock. I've not really done anything. Um, which probably is okay. Actually not probably, it is okay. We just need days where they're mellow and chill and that is fine. So I've really just been relaxing and that's what we're gonna to continue to do. Maybe we'll make a cocktail tonight. Dinner is gonna to be easy tonight. We're just gonna do burgers. So just a low key Sunday, which I kinda of like. We had dinner and now I'm just prepping for breakfast. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for breakfast or lunch because I am back in the office, but, um, I'm just prepping a frittata now. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. It's super simple. This is like my go-to for every brunch when company is here. So I have peppers, onions, mushrooms, and turkey sausage. You wanna definitely cook your veggies a little bit prior to um, throwing um, them in the oven or they just don't get tender enough. And I'm just gonna make sure that that is evenly distributed in the bottom of this pan. And then I have eight eggs with a little non-fat milk, salt and pepper. And literally all I'm gonna do is pour that over it. And then some leftover cheese that I have. I'm not gonna overdo it with the cheese, but I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that Hot. And now I'm just gonna throw this in the oven, 350, for about 25 minutes. Steven just got an Amazon box, so he's gonna do an unboxing. What did you get from Amazon? Uh, a brush for cleaning the shower tiles. Ooh. A book. Oh, I wanted to read that. It's the Good Morning America book this week. Yes. I really like the last selection, which was five ways for rain, or five ways to say rain, or something. Another book. 
You have to tell the titles. What, what belongs to you a novel, and then this ex exhala exhalation. President Obama. That's not an easy word to say. Exhalation. Exhale is easy. Well, I ordered three uh, cans of Comet for the brush, and they didn't come. <laughs> an unboxing from Stephen. I know that that is the content that you have signed up for on this channel. Absolutely riveting. The only thing that's about to get more riveting is once this frittata is done, I'm gonna cut it up and put it in some containers and I'm gonna fold laundry and then probably gonna go to bed and read. But it's nice to get a vlog under my belt. I'm gonna sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which I promise will be much sooner. Bye-bye.